This is the Doctor, continuing against the storm. We are ready to reforge the lead seal. But before we do that, let's talk to Aunt Lori at our home and see what story she has to tell us. You probably already encountered fishmen on your adventures, right? Yes, I think I have. Exactly. There isn't a viceroy alive who hasn't run into them at least once in their career. And even though they're so easy to find, no one really knows anything about them. Almost every scholar who's tried to contact one of their tribes has met a tragic end. Their origin and motives remain a mystery, as does their culture and language. The only thing we know about them is that they hate fire and prefer to live in wet environments. They don't seem to mind a blight storm at all. They are also believed to worship the Forsaken Gods, or the Seal Ones, as they are commonly called. Better watch your back next time you're out there. These pesky little creatures seem harmless enough, but they can cause a lot of trouble. That's that. Okay. Fair enough. I want to get the beaver starting ability. It extends available trade offers by one in each neighboring town. But that seems very, very powerful. I can also pick planks, bricks, or fabric as I need for occasion bonus. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to pick the beavers, the harpies, and the two extra villagers. I just want the most possible villagers. I'll bring an herbalist camp. Um, I will bring... Fabric is often a problem. I'll bring some fabric. I'll bring a little more villagers. Food is usually a problem as well. I'll bring extra food. And then I'm thinking a stone is the way to go. And I could do prestige 12 fewer blueprints to choose from but the i think i would win but i really really don't like there are eight of these seals i just want to beat this seal so i'm gonna drop myself back down to prestige 10 prestige 11 the blight rot has a stronger impact that could actually like screw me over if the game takes too long and it kills too many villagers and impatience grows out of control I don't want to lose due to silly reasons like that. Prestige 10, nice round number. That seems appropriate for a CO challenge. Okay, let's do it. I just want to win this. Let's go. All right, what are our forest mysteries? An earthy element at level one, hostility. The Firekeeper's power weakens in the face of an otherworldly force. The maximum number of sacrifice stacks in Angel and Herf is lowered by one. Fairly irrelevant. Fog. Villagers with this effect move minus 40% slower as long as I don't have housing. If I don't have housing. So build housing. That's easy enough. Nauseous spores. Time between breaks is reduced by minus 33% for villagers with this effect. Prevent it, you need service. Mm, that's probably going to affect us, but we should survive. Ooh, hostility 5, downpour. Villagers with this effect have plus 50% chance to consume double the amount of food during a break. Uh, huh, that could be bad. Housing we will of course have, but really telling me I need services. Consuming double food could screw me over. What's our bonus? Oh, it's, it's is it always the focused effect? I mean, okay. But I, to gain it, I need complex food. Well, that's brutal. Good thing I chose an easier difficulty. Uh huh. All right. The last time the um, the thing was in a the seal was in a forbidden glade. Not nah, forbidden, a dangerous glade. So I actually don't mind opening a small glade just to get a clue uh, as to which one of these uh, dangerous glades I should open. Okay, herbalist camp will be good to gather these mushrooms, especially with the harpies. Beavers will be helpful, and humans, of course, are nice. Uh, the, ah, yes, we have the beacon tower to help out. Might build a forsaken tower to get a little more power, you know. Okay, let's begin with the classic two woodcutters camp. The usual stuff. And we should um we should build a herbalist camp right away.
I should assign a hauler to the main warehouse and see what it actually does. And I completely forgot to use my hotkey. Uh, it's okay, that's okay. Which small glade should I open? Probably that one. Uh, I want to do it um, before I find the orders though, so do it like that. Let's chop all that wood. Still gonna build a crude workstation that I know I'll need. What kind of uh, things do I get? Brickyard, leather, leather worker, Forester's hut, cookhouse. Cookhouse could be the way to go, actually, because I could make the skewers right away. Don't eat the meat. I can get meat from the uh, trees, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Huh. Brickyard is nice. Leather worker is nice. But cookhouse, everybody eats biscuits eventually. And nobody actually likes skewers. But it is a complex food let's um let's see what the orders and all that stuff the cornerstones etc etc bring Nope, not the harvester's camp. There we go. I don't know what I need to build yet, so... Not gonna build anything. Corner stone. Whoo! A lot of good choices here. Zorg secret ingredient. Intense skewers for every pickled good. I don't know. That seems speculative. Cannibalism. 30 free food for doing nothing, huh? Like, I have a feeling villagers are gonna die or leave on this map, too. Yeah. That's, uh... I, I like these perks where, like, they give you resources when a villager dies or leaves because it's like... It prevents a chain reaction, a negative chain reaction. Um, you get something, like... When your villagers are dying or leaving, it's because something horrifically bad has gone wrong and you need something to fix that problem. Well, having uh, perks that help with like fixing that problem, giving you resources, I think is very much worthwhile. Okay, let's check our orders. Trade post and 10 amber. The classic. I think I'll pick that. It's just easy. Get some biscuits, which are nice. Extra parts and tools are great. Ooh. Deliver one ancient tablet. We probably can deliver that one ancient tablet. You get the wildfire essences are pretty valuable stuff. I'll pick that. They're not easy to get otherwise. Herbalist camp and 25 mushrooms. I mean, isn't that literally what I'm doing right now? Does this map have herbs? No. 
But the reward's not good, though. You do get two people. Human house, beaver house. Who, who knows if I can do any of that right now? Let's not pick any of those. I'm going to pick the cookhouse for the biscuits. Okay, now things get interesting. It is almost never wrong to go with that small farm, but let's open the glade and see what we can find first. And then, in the meantime, we're gonna put some villagers in here to make planks. Might be slightly less efficient than normal, but... I think I have to pick the small farm regardless because of the biscuit production. You know what? Let's let's just pick that. I don't think I can go wrong with that choice. Ah, now this is interesting. Ranch. In conjunction with the small farm, well, in conjunction with the cookhouse, should solve all my food problems. I don't know where I'm going to get, like, the herbs or the berries and stuff. Um, but I can, at the very least, make skewers. build a trade post. Oh. Never mind. Build a trade post later. You no know, rush. Now I kind of regret picking cannibalism. I should have a lot of food. Oh well. Oh, I want to know what are in these glades. Like... Got two copper roots and some meat. I mean, I can actually harvest most of this stuff. If I don't pick the ranch, what do I pick? The clothier? To make coats to keep everyone happy because I have literally all villagers who could benefit from coats. It would also make scrolls, which is advanced trade good, and water skin, which is also an advanced trade good. Might be able to get the meat passively. Where's the, um, I th okay, the, the, um, whatchamacallit, the guidance stone is pointing to the right, so I bet the seal is in this dangerous glade over there. 
In my mind, there's little reason not to open this other small glade. So that we can see if any of this has a fertile soil. I'm sure some of it will have fertile soil. Don't know that I want to welcome the new villagers just yet. Copper could be good. Roots could be good. Real tempted to pick the clothier. Let's see what else we uncover. Good trade routes. Ding. There's some decent ones. I haven't decided which one of these to do. Beaver house and human house. It might just be better in the long run. Well, we need more houses. Wait, why are you building packets of building materials? That is, no, no, no. Send the lumber back. Make the packet of provisions. I also don't know why you have the roots here. Make the packet of provisions so I can opportunistically sell off some stuff. open that glade as soon as possible. I gotta move the trading posts out of the way except there's no place to put it. Stormwater geyser, more copper reeds. These are um these are good finds. The copper is especially interesting. But I also know where the uh, seal is. It's right there. Okay. Let's get the shelter built.
don't think I want to sell off my fabric. I don't even know if the grain's on a bad bet. Three C marrow for one amber. Seven C marrow for three is just better. I feel like that. Yeah. Some trades going. I think my choice will depend on what's in this dangerous glade. Um, if I if I find a fertile soil, I might just go with ranch to be safe. Surely there's somewhere I can move you to. No? It's annoying. Okay. Ricks is I think I want the um bone cutters camp. These other trade routes are good deals. Oh, I should build a um, park. Oh no, this, this place is very small, so I want to build barrels and uh, benches. water supply is very interesting that will power up my crude workshop plague of mosquitoes what was that again Global production speed is minus 50% slower. Well, so if I don't produce anything, I'm perfectly fine. Any good trade routes? Don't think I want to sell the stone. Sell two packet of crops for three amber. That's usually a good deal.
you say Bissell Tree is just harder to chop or something? Oh, Plague of Mosquitoes affects scatterers too. Well, that's definitely annoying. Okay, let's um, clear some of that out. Start building roads out there. Uh, yes, more villagers. I like the parts. Shelter. Need to open the uh, that glade. Where's some sea marrow instead of uh, wood? Sea marrow is um, the one resource that we have a lot of. I think I. Sh Should build a geyser pump. Actually, Silly is about to go up, but that is fine. Put a uh, huh? don't have a lot of humans, we'll put a harpy into the geyser pump, start gathering that storm water. Yep, here's an ancient seal. Open or send caches. All these eight rain engines, not gonna be able to do that. I wonder, was this all the same as last time? I can't remember. Is it always the same uh, stuff? I don't know, but we're definitely gonna loot this um, caravan once the storm is over. Ah, oh, there's no fertile soil, really. This is a problem. This is actually a gigantic problem. This makes me want to pick the ranch so that I can make 
meat from reeds. No, no caches I could open either. Ooh, this this is this is not good. Not good. But at least looting this caravan will um Oh, at least some of my problems. Here, trader, go right next to the caravan. Because, you know, that makes logical sense. Probably gonna have to open this uh, dangerous glade next. Look for some fertile soil somewhere. I kind of think I have to pick the ranch now. I need to start gathering these reeds. I don't know that the Stonecutters camp is that important. Maybe if I go and gather the sea marrow, that'll be worth. But none of the other things are worth much. I have some copper. Could sell off potentially. Use the meat. To make some packets of provisions. I have two forbidden glades I can, or not forbidden, uh, dangerous glades I can open. That will definitely help. Uh, let's, for now, put this harvester here and go harvest that. Cornerstone. I need stuff that reduces um, hostility. Urban planning for every 10 completed trade routes. All houses will have room for one more person. That's actually pretty good. Farsight. Yeah, I don't need that. Exploration expedition. Global Resolve is used, boosted by plus 5 for 180 seconds every time a new blade is discovered. Secure perimeter. Uh, when am I even going to get myself to a Forbidden Glade? It's so hard. Hostility is already starting to get under control. I want to reroll and try to gamble for something a little better. Safe haven, hey! Yep. You know that is one of the best. We'll pick that. How's the mushroom situation looking? Only one source of mushrooms here. Um, I'm gonna. We're gonna play this long play a longer game. I'll pick the safe place, human house and beaver homes. It'll take a while to build, but you can get there eventually. Meat diet. I don't know where I'm going to get the jerky from. Let's do building materials. Risky expedition. Cut through the forest. To, ah, it's kind of annoying. 
but I'm not going to sacrifice all these other resources. So I will discover at least two more da uh, dangerous glades. I might do even one more after that. I need uh, some villagers to loot here. Global resolve will tank, but we can deal with that by favoring the harpies. Is there any other way? Yeah, yeah. Pipes are kind of interesting, but I, I don't think I need that. be like some tiny trick I can do to make these villagers just a little bit happier. I can build a harpy house uh, just to make the harpies temporarily a little happier. I might delete that. Can't favor them because then the beavers are unhappy. So I'm pretty sure that's my option. There's storm geyser of all things. Yeah. I can always uh, delete the harpy house to get back my resources if I really need it. Oh, there's a little trick. You can delete these um, guidance stones for the extra resources and resin. Now that I know where to see is, I don't need them. That's a lot of extra resources, actually. That's a uh, 30 stone. That's a good chunk. That could help me crack open some caches. All right, everybody build a harpy home. You do that as well. Let's uh, favor the beaver. Oh, wrong button. I meant to favor the harpies. Ah, great. Well, when the heartbeat leaves, I'm gonna get like 30, uh, 30, whatchamacallit, food. So it's not all bad. This is why I picked that cannibalism trait for exactly this type of scenario. I'll take it. It's, 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 it's good enough. Queen's impatient goes up, that's okay. RP pump operator leaves. All right, well. Everybody eat meat. You're allowed to eat the meat and nothing else. Eat your eat the dead harpy. All right, harpy resolve going up. Put that harpy in there. Yeah, the one thing I have is meat. Have any grain? Yes. Six grain for two gold, I'll take that. Hmm. Can't open an ancient glade this right now, but I can do it later. Crater is about to go. Yeah. I don't think I want to buy anything from you. I don't really want to sell anything either. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Thinking about building a small warehouse in this region. Um. You can always delete it as necessary. Don't really lose anything. Um, I'm gonna boot out these three woodcutters, and then we're gonna. Get ready to open one more glade. Okay, we have the small warehouse there. Now y'all can chop some more wood. Tray route complete. to sell any of this stuff. All right, we we do need to gather some more food, so All foragers can't put at least scatter those roots. Otherwise, I don't have any food. Oh, let's uh, increase the plank limit to 20. Definitely need more planks. Yeah. 
Oh, humans are good at gathering planks, huh? Interesting. Ah, oh, I don't want to sell the sea marrows. Kind of valuable. I don't know that I want to sell any of this stuff. Construct the buildings to get this town up and going. So we'll build night fern, decorative fungus, oral growth. I want to get this upgraded to a neighborhood. These are overgrown abyssal trees. No wonder they're taking so long to chop down. Huh. It's not a bad thing. Considering the hostility problems I'm having. enough storm water I think I got afford to do one park I'm sure I can find a place to put that park Pretty little plants. You know, these overgrown abyssal plants are n nice. We're gonna have to um, be careful. In fact, let's chop that stuff down first. A neighborhood so that reduces hostility. Excellent. Overgrown abyssal trees are great because uh, they have a lot of resources, but they don't cause a lot of hostility increase. Eating all the meat. I think I kind of have to pick the ranch, right?
Go help build a ranch. Plague of Malady. Villagers take 50% long rest and have plus 100% chance of consuming twice as much food during a break. That's brutal stuff. Yeah, I'll sell some to Clay. Copper. Sell some of the stone too. Uh, I don't know that I can afford to accept villagers right now just due to how bad the food situation is. Let's wait. Let's. Well, there's no rush to win this. As long as I can keep hostility under control, I'll be just fine. Yeah, I'm very glad I picked cannibalism now. Two harpies in here, we're just gonna start making that meat. I'll sell the copper. Are we out of uh, roots? Yes. All right, well, you can help, go help build roads and stuff. Why is Harpy Resolve low? I don't understand. Small Forger's Cam has no nodes. Alright, we'll put you in the corner. Let me move right there. Let's put a second gatherer into the reed camp. Hostility is hovering um, for some reason. I could always temporarily sacrifice a little wood. That would, uh, fix my problem. Alright, I think it is time to open the glade.
All right, three builders. I finished the uh, the event. Okay, good, 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 good. We should see what's in that glade before deciding to do anything else. But I also need uh, stuff like the cookhouse. Going. Nope, not the forager's camp. Um, let's put a harpy and a human in here. We need to get those planks rolling. Put a human in here to mix. Okay. What do we got? Fertile soil, excellent. We got a dewberry bush. The herbalist camp will do good work there. Brickyard, that is phenomenal. Open vault. I have the resin that I can use and get the tablets. Plus 300 temporary hostility. That is not a problem. Yes, yes, this is this is a phenomenal glade. Brickyard, that'll be amazing. The large encampment. Um, there's also a slick shell brood mother. All right, this is what I need to start winning the game. However, maybe I just need to do mechanical heart again. I'm not finding any caches to uh, to open. Heart of Amber could be okay with the Brickyard. We'll see. But I'm feeling much, much better about my chances now. Yeah. Okay, let's destroy the forger's camp. Really nothing good we can get from that. Herbalist camp is the way to go. Then we're just gonna wait out the storm and then arrive new villagers. We don't need to sacrifice more resources. Cornerstone. Silent looting. Although blood price contract, right? Another, uh, but silent looting. Uh, I think I will be able to find enough abandoned caches that this will get enough value later on. Now I just want the maximum number of villagers because there's a lot of work to be done. I'm gonna burn at least 18 blight rust cysts. That's a no brainer. Let's pick the opener sin for caches. I feel like I can find enough caches. I know technically I haven't found even one, but I'm optimistic. If I open some forbidden glades, surely that would uh, that would solve the problem. Okay, let's send a harpy 
to welcome some new people. We got three builders. We're gonna send Harpy and a beaver to investigate the open vault. Then I have one builder for the herbalist camp. Everything is good. Well, Frawl off is here. I have literally nothing to give you, buddy. Sell some flour. Sixteen reeds I can sell. Sure. Reeds are worth a lot. We're gonna build the herbalist camp. We're gonna build some roads all the way over here. Gotta chop down all that. Some of my villagers have the complex food going on. Excellent. We should build a small warehouse here as well. Then where am I going to build the hearth? Ooh, that's a little tricky. I have to chop down quite a few trees to squeezing a hearth over here, but it's definitely worth it. So after chopping all this down, I'm going to redeploy the woodcutters over there, meaning I should build a small warehouse, kind of in a centralized-ish position. Farm over there. That's a pretty good location, I think. Everybody get to work. I'm gonna have two new people to help out soon. is going. Is there anything I even want to buy? I mean, can't really... Eh, that's not true. Pipes. Maybe I buy six pipes. Sure. Turning building materials. Um, no, I need that stuff. Um, quite a bit of lumber to fix.
It's only the reeds. Okay, I have five builders. Excellent. Let's put a um, human in a harpy in there. Let's put a human in there. Might eventually delete that small warehouse up here, but it can be done sort of any time. Small farm just to give my builder something to work on. Be resolved low. Oh, the hostility is absurdly high due to the um, event I'm trying to do. Uh, we can fix this with houses. It's big shelter or two should do the trick. Favorite harpies. I love a corruption. forget this is the year of the blight uh huh where's my industrial building is gonna go uh. okay can you beavers chop those two trees so that I can build a blight post and then everyone will be happy it's time for the cookhouse Temporarily sacrifice some more resources to uh, lower the hostility. We have to do something like that. I could build another harpy house temporarily. That might actually be my best bet. Then a blue. 
light post. Any good trade routes? I could sell 20 ale for 6 gold. Don't know that's a good idea. I'll sell the clay. 6 berries for 2 gold. That's a good deal. Oh my god. How is the harpy construction taking so long? Okay. I have to temporarily sacrifice a little bit of wood. Okay. There we go. Just How's the um small hearth looking over here? Not even close. You chop all of that. Okay. In fact, that's got to be the priority. How is your resolve low again? The houses don't have enough of an impact on you now. Go back to the sacrifice soon. Yep. Ugh. some more provisions I can sell berries for money okay come on open the vault everyone Ugh, the harpy's resolve is, um, one harpy's gonna leave. I don't see what I can do. And it's not necessarily a problem. Okay, rain mill will allow me to make flour. That is very important. I need that to make biscuits. And then with the cookhouse, we should be good. Okay. Do I let this harpy leave? I think the answer is no, if I read it. Not a problem. As soon as we finish opening the vault, there are no issues. There we go. Okay. Sell the berries. I don't know that I want to sell anything else. As always. Okay, should I welcome these new villagers? Well, I can't yet. Or should I exchange them for money?
Oh, it doesn't really matter. Either way, I can build my small hearth there soon enough. Do I have no, like, wood? But I have the sea marrow that I can burn. Okay. Fix the brickyard. Why don't you two finish gathering all these stone cutters? What's the next plague? Plague of Darkness? Ah, yes. The uh, storm season is plus 100% longer. Okay. Let me think. Why are you so unhappy, Heartbeats? Because there are no food. Uh... What did I do in consumption control? Ah, I told them all to eat meat. Well, okay. Now you can eat whatever. That should fix your unhappiness problem. That should fix everybody's unhappiness problems, actually. Gotta get that cookhouse built. Okay, we can build a small hearth here whenever we need to. Ooh, boy. Well, some harpies are going to leave. But good thing I have that cannibalism uh, ability going on. Yes, everyone's deeply unhappy, but as soon as they eat some food, they should be back to, like, reasonably happy, I hope. Just want to go eat some food, they'll all be okay again. But I, I can't survive a storm this long. Well, as the villagers die, um, hostility should go down. And I have a way of getting more villagers, so it's not like I have much of a choice right now. Beacon Tower could help. No, the small herb already has all its stuff. I think I'll uh, wait on the Beacon Tower. We'll just let these uh, villagers die. Harpy Firekeeper has left. That's a problem.
good news is we're gonna get a lot of food from eating all these dead people. Silver linings. Cutter has left. Yeah, I know. I know. I just need one more villager to leave and then uh, Silly should be low enough to not be a problem. That's okay. A Blight Fighter can leave. Oh, seriously? Uh, fine. We'll let a human leave as well. Okay, builder and a craftsman left. Cranesing patience is growing like crazy, but we can get that down. I got, mul um, well, not multiple, but at least one quest I can turn in, potentially some more I can turn in as well. I did not like losing those five people, but they've permanently solved my, f not permanently, short term solved my food problem. Everybody eat the meat of the dead people. All right. Oh, come on, Harpy. Ugh. Extra Harpy left. That was pretty rough. I can get more people. For instance, from right here. Take the two beavers and a human. I should get a, um, Rain collector soon. Plague of Darkness, definitely, definitely pretty brutal. Oh, if only I picked that option where when the villagers left, I got Amber. That would have been so good. Beaver in there. Welcome to new villagers. Oh, 
I have very few uh, parts as a reward, huh? You want that rain collector, though. Gotta have the herbalist camp. are worth anything. Another order. Charity fair. That seems just much better. Oh, but I need a market. I don't know if I get a market. Maybe I just do a trailblazing. Plenty of sea marrow. Let's delete the uh, stone cutters camp. I want to put down a ring collector. Guess I could put it down over here. Okay, well, I think we have enough um, skewers. New, new uh, trader. Light fighters move faster. Gain six pack of provisions every time you use. Yeah, fuel consumption is decreased. Working hard and smart. I don't know that I want any of this stuff. Uh, except maybe your planks. And pipes, but I can decide that later. Cornerstone. Okay. Ooh. Cheap construction might be the way to go here. I don't care about uh, research nodes having minus five fewer charges. All buildings cost 40% less. I think it's gotta be that help me the most I 
Let's sell some of that ale. Okay, because I could do the Heart of Amber. Just returning some rewards. Choose this order. I don't know if I can get the market though. Over the relic there. Herb Garden Trapper's Camp. Grill. Grill, not great. I think, not for this. Trapper's Camp. Don't I have like decent amount of meat I can gather, but it's re redundant. That's the problem. It's redundant. Forester's Hut. Would be real interesting. If I find more fertile soil. All right. What's what's the priority? The priority I think has to be to. Ooh. Next is Plague of Snakes, minus five global resolve. If I don't buff resolve, we're gonna lose. I need a, I need massive buffs to resolve. And the best way to do that is with um, buildings or services. None of these will give me what I want. The biscuits would of course solve my problem. That plus eight resolve will counteract pretty much everything. And I can't really afford to let any more villagers leave. the beaver houses it should be should be enough there don't want to open these forbidden glades are not necessary to make it's the it's the biscuits I can get another plus two resolve from the small herb over here that's 11 on the harpies If I buy some coal to sacrifice, I could do well. Just stash up a lot of wood to sacrifice. Lower the hostility, it'd be 6 minus 5 minus 11. Um, I need like something else. Or if I can buff the beavers resolve. I don't think any of this stuff is going to help me. I have to reroll here. See if we can get something to help me out. Pack of pickled goods. Better fabric production and better packet of crop production on the granary. 
Thing is, if I have pickled goods, I can make the beavers very happy, and then I can favor the harpies, which would effectively solve their problem. You have any barrels? No. You have some coats. I could buy it just to try to make the harpies happy during the storm. <sighs> then the granary. Cellar might be better, though, because I can make jerky. Okay, okay. Cellar is better. Cellar is better because I can make jerky and I can make pickled goods. They're not very efficient, but harpies eat jerky. And the one resource I have is meat. Okay, let's pick the cellar. That will f solve my problems. Let's, uh... Oh, I would want to put the cellar like right here. Or back in the original area. Um, actually, I quite. This should be the priority. And no, rain, rain collector is the priority. Then the seller. Then I need to boot characters out after they do stuff so I can uh, get working on these more critical buildings. I have four new villagers to help out. There's a beaver and a human here. We need to collect that drizzle water. I think I will buy the pipes off the merchant. Okay, completed the event. We have six new builders. Excellent. Everybody has houses somehow. We don't follow. We actually have eight pipes. That's enough. I can afford to sell some of the skewers. Skewer is really not critical. If I purchase all of your lumber, and I would use all of it, um, sure. Make the eat the skewers made from the cannibalized parts of my uh, villagers, please. Okay, this lets me now plunk down some beaver houses. Cellar is done. Let's I'm putting two humans. 
actually like working the cellar. Oh, he just moved his large shelter over here. But five wood is a lot, and I don't exactly want to just throw away five wood. Nothing else I can really sell. Barrels, benches. I just want my houses to look pretty, you know. That's so much to ask. Pretty answer is yes. Let's do it like this. Still need to chop down more. What? Oh, did I let the trader go um, without buying the pipes? That's fine. I bought the lumber, which is more important. I build on top of the copper. Totally fine. Yeah, I want to round this out. This three human houses. We'll put the three human houses together and we will put a beaver house like this. Everybody build, build, build. Connect the rain engines. This stuff will help me. Was the plague again? Ah, oh, snakes, right. Okay. Villagers are 
eating and all that good stuff. Put being here to make bricks. You are raising there to make bricks. Turning safe place. Definitely worth turning now. Building materials would give me um, impatience drop, which might be bad. But if I can get the resolve here up, that would. Um, if I can upgrade a small hearth to a neighborhood. Oh. The buildings are perfectly distributed. That's bad. When am I getting newcomers? Two minutes? Okay, that should solve my problems. Let's build a... Bench. Oops. I'm gonna get ready. Build a beaver home. And then we will build two more barrels, two more benches, and a two more bushes and two more flower beds. But we'll build that stuff first. Put two villagers into um, you know let's put I want to put a beaver into the main warehouse I want to see what that actually does oh you start stashing like grain and uh, okay they're bringing supplies over for everyone that is useful. Fourteen reeds, light watch, already at level one with them. Sunny woods will sell off some stone. Not be a good deal but I want to build a trading reputation kind of regret this ranch now. Okay. I'm just going to take the maximum Ooh, pipes. I will take the pipes. Alright. This should give me two neighborhoods which will reduce hostility. Everyone else build. Build a two 
bushes. Now I can start thinking about um, completing the... We're going to do a Heart of the Amber, I'm thinking. Need provisions, props, packages of building materials. Okay. Actually use up all my meat? Uh. Well, you know where there's more meat. Always oh, meat in the ranch. Oh, and I should assign someone to gather the storm water. Okay, we have two neighborhoods. Oh, I have to build... I have to put the two benches. This, this. Okay. I want like four villagers. I want everybody making biscuits. Unless you're making flour. I don't want to open six glades though. I'm gonna to have to pick the charity fair. I don't know if it matters that much. Um, but I know what does matter. Okay. So at this stage, what I'm gonna also do is I'm going to put a human into the ancient hearth so that I don't lose team patience. Mm, I'm king roots. The leechford. That is a lot of amber. of snakes no okay humans making patients grow slower which is which matters oh, if I can get the biscuits produced and then just deliver it it would solve all of my problems Otherwise, I could burn a little coal or something as an, in an emergency, just to survive this storm. In the meantime, I think it's time to start working on... The seal. Okay, Heart of Amber, makeshift post. I need crops. That's one thing I have a lot of. I have enough of, I should say. Okay, 
Okay, double biscuit production is sweet. As long as everybody's eat their biscuits, they will be fine. Out of drizzle water, okay. Rain collector, we're collecting storm water. That's not so important. Ah. Packet of building materials using the rain mill. So we should use the bricks. That is the thing I have the most. So you come here. Do like 60 bricks or something. Lake of snakes, hostility to forests. Okay, let's temporarily burn a little coal. Just to get everyone's resolve up. I don't want to burn it for too long. Buy a stop. But harpies are going to eat more biscuits, surely. Ugh. I don't like how quick the coal is dropping. Yes. Come on, Harpies, eat your like biscuits so you can be happy. Why won't you eat your biscuits? Okay. Last order. I don't know which one of those two I'm gonna do. Sacrifice some wood. I don't like doing that either. Okay, there we go. Really? Come on, harpies. There we go. Okay, everybody is finally happy. Food situation is finally under some semblance of control. Villagers despair. Wow. 
light watch. Now the herbs, sure. This gets you up to plus five resolve bonus, okay. Gotta go gather some more reeds. The cornerstone. Generous gifts. That could be very, very powerful now. Well, Froloff is here. We might need him for something. Reinforced axes. Wood cutting is faster. Wood cutting has been a problem on this map. I'm gonna actually buy that. And do that Heart of Amber quest. Don't want to sell any of my stuff. Copper could be good to build a copper mine at this point. Could be good, rather, to build a copper mine. Um, everybody's cooking. Let's uh take two beavers out and have them gather some drizzle water. Okay, I think the food situation is acceptable now. So, want my villagers to go do other things. Alright, I got massive buffs. Everybody's eating biscuits, so everybody's getting double production chance. That should be critical for me. Maybe next year I open a glade? I, I could also open this small glade. I, again, I don't hate opening small glades. Let's build out a queen's beacon thing, the beacon tower. A feeling it's gonna come in handy. I remember there was some good stuff in the beacon tower. Okay, Ofraloff's about to go. I wanna buy some stuff off you before you go, buddy. Two pipes would make a lot of sense. Uh, the lumber and the coal is always nice, the building materials, but... <sighs> Fuel is such a problem right now. Uh, 
I actually th think I buy coal because I you know, like some big fuel problems. Ah, I have that sea marrow all the way over there. That would uh, that would fix my problems too. But it's it's really far away. I think I prefer the call. What's our next challenge? Play a blindness. Uh, villagers move slower, have a plus 50% chance of destroying production. You eh, not worried about that. Let's let's buy like um 15 is usually a magical number for coal, so we'll buy 16 coal and two pipes. And you can have some amber and a few resin. Yes. Okay, and then we can burn coal and sea marrow. I want to sell the packet of crops yet. I might need to up the uh, rep with Fox then, so I'll sell off some of my training gear, the stuff I don't really need. I think the uh, jerky situation is good. Let's go build some stuff. What are the things I can get? Ah, right, I can get some supplies. I can just get like 40 grain. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna save my, uh, save the other abilities. Okay, let's do the Heart of Amber. And I got a cornerstone to help me. Good. Lost in the wilds, no. Travel rations increases time between breaks for haulers by plus 50%. Eh. Leftover crops, eh. Fungal guide. I don't think I make mushrooms, but. I might if I open a new glade. Honestly, none of this is very exciting. Maybe to gain one villager when I discover a new glade. A little more, um, yeah. More people is good. Reach standing level two with three settlements on trade routes. Yes, that's what I'm working on right now. Sunny Woods, what can I sell to you? Sure. We're gonna work on Fox Den. I'm just gonna sell them whatever they want. I have no wood. What is all the wood being used for? Probably jerky production. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, I think this is a good place to pause. Thank you for watching. Until next time.